So today we're going to be performing uh, patellar glides to Hunter's knee. Um, and what this is indicating for is patients with a significant amount of pain or who were recently immobilized um, or post ACL surgery, say we want to move the joint around a little bit to get some fluid movement in there. Um, so in order to perform these glides, we're going to want our patient uh, slightly flexed. So I have him under a bolster here or over a bolster here. Um, you can use a towel or any other way to get his knee flexed. Um, now to apply the glide, we want to place one hand over the uh, inferior pole and one hand over the superior pole of the patella. Now with the patient relaxed, we can apply a glide either um, cephaly or caudally. Now these glides can be performed either as a sustained glide and hold it or as an oscillatory glide. Um, you can also perform a medial glide to kind of stretch that lateral retinaculum. And the same thing. Um, sustained or oscillatory um, grades one through four depending on what your goal is.